Copilot can do more than you think. And these are five hidden features that will change your workflow and save you hours each week. Hi, I'm Amy. Let's nerd out. To access all of the features in this video, you need to have a Copilot add-on license, which means that from the main chat area on the Microsoft homepage, you have this work toggle. Number one is draft instructions in Outlook. And if you think that Copilot's emails sound too much like AI, then this is for you. To get started, we will go up to the gear icon on the top right, then navigate to Copilot and draft instructions. So here you can find your tone, length, and greeting. And I do have some examples here of what you might want to include based on your job role. So for example, if you are a sales manager, you might want to be friendly, persuasive, and value driven, and the length could be short to medium. Whereas if you are an executive assistant, you might want to be polished, efficient, and courteous, and the length would be short and to the point. So you can take one of these, or you can ask Copilot to help you generate instructions based on your job role and have Copilot ask you a series of questions to gather some information first. And we can add these here. So once all of those are in there, then we can now save. Number two is how we can use Copilot to catch up on our team's chat conversations. So whether you are chatting one-on-one -on -one or if you're chatting in a group conversation, this is how Copilot can help you stay on top of those conversations. So here I have a chat conversation open with Mike. Then we can go to this Copilot icon on the top right, which opens up Copilot chat, giving us access to the web and work toggles. Now, when we chat with Copilot, in these channel conversations, it's important to note that sometimes these chat conversations can get really long. So when we use our chats, we want to ensure that we define a time frame so that we are limiting the response from Copilot. So for example, we can go down and see more. Let's select this one here, which are what are open items in this conversation. And then now I'm just going to add a time frame to that. I've added from yesterday. And then now we can generate that response. And in my Copilot course, I share my top tips for using Copilot in Teams to help you catch up on channel conversations as well as meetings. Number three is to keep writing this feature inside of Word. So if you have ever started typing a sentence inside of a Word document, but then go completely blank, now Copilot can help you finish that thought. So in this example, I have literally just written an introduction sentence for a paragraph, but now I've had a brain freeze and I can't think about what else to write. So we can select the text, go Copilot, and then this time I'm going to go keep writing this. So this is exactly what this tool is used for. We can see here that it has now taken my one sentence and turned it into a full on paragraph. Number four is how we can add slides inside a PowerPoint. So when you are working on a presentation and you need to add more slides, you can go up to the sparkle icon and then go add a slide. And then now here we can describe what we want to add. We can optionally add a reference file if we want. We've got the stock images and then we even have some suggested prompts to get you started. So once your parameters are set, then we can go and generate and so here is our slide that has been added and we can either discard or keep it. Number five is how we can use Copilot in OneDrive to gain insights from multiple files. So for example, if we select multiple files, then we are going to see a Copilot icon appear on the top menu. So if we select that, we can now get a summary or we can even compare these files or ask a specific question. So for example, if you have a bunch of documents with resumes and you are hiring a new candidate, then you can ask Copilot, you know, which candidate went to this university, which candidates have this work experience or compare these candidates and put the results into a table format. And then you can quickly view all of the content and make faster decisions on which candidate you should hire for the role. These five tips don't even scratch the surface of what Copilot can do. And if you want to go beyond the basics, then check out my Microsoft 365 Copilot course here.